why not start 2022 off with a bang? And actually I'm ending 2021 because that's when this is getting filmed. But anyways, today, tonight, what we're doing is we are painting with light. This is something that I did a long time ago. Uh, back in college, I was part of a car club, Cheaters Inc. I had a 94 Trans Am that I absolutely loved and it hated me. Something we did was we all got really into trying to get cool shots of our cars. And years and years ago, we tried this once and we're gonna give it a shot again because I can't tell you where any of those pictures are that we initially did at, ironically enough, John's old house. And so we have a C8 and a couple other cars here that we are going to paint with light. I'm going to use the R here and we are going to turn the ISO way down, the shutter way down, and I'm gonna put the aperture kind of in the middle. And we are gonna use just long exposures to try and paint the different contours and get some of the different highlights of these cars. And so I am really excited to get this project started. So let's go. switched over to the GoPro to look at what the R is seeing. And what we've tried is we've tried different times as far as um, we've gone like 10 seconds, we've gone 15 seconds, and now we just went 30 seconds with an aperture of 20. We're trying different colors, we're trying all sorts of different things, but uh, so far, the shots are turning out really, really good. My favorite thing is trying to dial it in. Right now, with the aperture and the time that we've got, we can now change some colors and do some ones in that and then throw some different cars in here. And we're not sitting here trying to chase our tails as much as we were. Plus, you're getting a workout in, so I might have to go grab some more beer. So, but we're gonna try some different colors, like you said, and I'm really, really stoked about how this project's going so far. That looks amazing. So changing one angle up a little bit so you can see kind of more what I'm doing. Um, what I'm trying to do is I've been trying to highlight certain parts of the car, the wheels, these nice contour lines, things like I'm gonna go to the tail lights, the, the A post, mirrors, anything like that that can really give some nice definition to the car. And it's turning out really cool. So I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view here now. I'm gonna turn out our key light, and I'm gonna try a different color, uh, and we're gonna try some different things, and we're gonna see how it goes while John makes a beer run. So, here we go. And what I'm also trying to do while I'm doing this is make sure that I am continually moving so that my ghost shadow doesn't show too much. Because that will just kind of ruin it. And at 30 seconds and 20 aperture, you got some time to play. Gotten done with the C8. That never gets old. So like I was saying, we're now done with the C8. I think he's gonna go get the Humvee. He might go get one of the bikes. We'll see what he comes with. I actually kind of wish we had had some of that exhaust smoke to add to this. So maybe next time we do some uh, liquid atmosphere to add to this. This is turning out way better than I could have imagined. So I'm excited to see what the rest of this looks like. You know, those are the famous last words is this is starting out way better than I thought. So 
So as you can see, Switch It Up went with his BMW. Uh, so we're gonna give this one a try. One of the things that I love about the idea of doing motorcycles is the amount of chrome to, I think this is going to highlight really well. And again, with motorcycles too, you have all sorts of area that you can shine light through. This is where having more than just the one aperture light would actually probably be in handy because with Aperture's little MC lights, you can operate them through an app on your phone. So in theory, if we had like three to five of these little lights, and actually as I'm talking about them, let me actually show it to you. One of the things in the uh, Corvette that I was thinking would be cool would be putting one in the interior, lighting it for a little bit, turning it off, Another great thing about this is, hopefully it doesn't do anything to mess it up. Actually, I chose the non-metal part, but it is magnetic. So you could, on the back side, put it right there and let it shine to get the background. Again, this is the difference in a Corvette to a motorcycle to a cinder block of a Humvee. Gotta find something to accentuate. She has feelings, you know. She's a nice lady. Just stay. of painting with white several years after the first attempt. It was a lot of fun to redo this and to get back into trying long exposures and really highlighting some of the best parts of these cars. I had a lot of fun hanging out with John for the three, almost four hours uh, here late at night. We're both probably gonna pay for it thanks to our daughters in the morning. Um, but you know, that's part of the fun of being a creative and doing things like this. So I hope you enjoyed this footage. I hope you enjoyed the photos that came with it. If you don't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down there, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video.